Order, and I call the member for Fisher. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. The Olympic and Paralympic Games are almost upon us once again, and in the swimming powerhouse that is the Sunshine Coast, excitement is mounting for the many local athletes who will be pulling on the green and gold to represent us in Tokyo. The coast boasts one of the youngest members of the Olympic team in Kaylee McEwen of the USC Spartans. At just 17 years old, she has already set a world junior record and won a world championship silver medal in the 200 backstroke. I know we're all looking forward to seeing her give her best on the biggest stage of all. However, we also have a truly world-class community of swimmers with disability on the Sunshine Coast and it shows in the terrific lineup of swimmers that we'll be sending to the Paras. Liam Schluter is a familiar face on the Sunshine Coast, swimming every day at Kiwana Waters. This is his second Paralympics uh, since he appeared in Rio. Liam's been bringing home the medals for Australia in the Com Games and World Para Championships, and he'll be a real prospect for S14 freestyle this August. Swim fast and swim free is the motto of Katia de Dekind, who will also be heading to her second Paras after snaring a bronze medal in the 100 back S13 in Rio. With gold in the Pan Pacific Para Championships and four selections for the Australian national team to her name, Katia will definitely be one to watch in Tokyo. Among our emerging new talents, Ruby Storm really stands out, having stormed home to medal in 10 separate events at the national championships and smashed records at the 2018 Para Pan Pacific Trials. Another of the youngest dolphins is Kira Stevens, as she'll be travelling from the coast to only her third international event. She's a silver medal from the Pan Pacific Para Championships in women's 100 metre breast, and I know that she'll bring that experience to this year's event. Kira's fellow Spartan, Benjamin Hance, is in spectacular form, becoming the fastest S14 Australian in the men's 100 back and winning his first long course Australian title in April this year. Ben is keen to go even faster in, in, for Australia in the Sunshine Coast in Tokyo, and he'll be supported by USC Spartans and Dolphins Chris, coach Chris Mooney, now heading to his second Olympics in a row after 20 years of successful club coaching all over the world. Deputy Speaker, my family are fortunate enough to know many of these young athletes through our daughter Sarah. I know that they'll do Australia proud. Congratulations to Kaylee. Katia, Ruby, Kira, Benjamin, Liam and Chris. From all of us, good luck, have fun and Sarah Wallace, set your sights on Paris. Yeah. Order. I call the member for Bruce.